The Lord open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them? Mere human beings that you should seek them out. You have made them little lower than the angels, and crowned them with glory and honour. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands, and put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. I have longed for your salvation, O Lord. O consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me, According to your promise, give me life. Salvation is far from the wicked. For they do not seek your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Give me life according to your judgments. Many there are that persecute and oppress me. Yet do I not swerve from your testimonies. It grieves me when I see the treacherous. For they do not keep your word. Consider, O Lord, how I love your commandments. Give me life according to your loving kindness. The sum of your word is truth. and all your righteous judgments endure for evermore. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad of your word as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. Nothing shall make them stumble. Lord, I have looked for your salvation and I have fulfilled your commandments. My soul has kept your testimonies, and greatly have I loved them. I have kept your commandments and testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you have taught me your statutes. 
my tongue shall sing of your word. For all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand reach out to help me. For I have chosen your commandments. I have longed for your salvation, O Lord. And your law is my delight. Let my soul live and it shall praise you. And let your judgments be my help. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. O seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. I have longed for your salvation, O Lord. God of mercy, swift to help us, as our lips pour forth your praise, fill our hearts with the peace you give to those who wait for your salvation, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Early in the morning, Joshua rose and set out from Shittim with all the Israelites, and they came to the Jordan. They camped there before crossing over. At the end of three days, the officers went through the camp and commanded the people, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God being carried by the Levitical priests, then you shall set out from your place. Follow it, so that you may know the way you should go, for you have not passed this way before. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, a distance of about two thousand cubits. Do not come any nearer to it. Then Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. To the priests, Joshua said, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on in front of the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went in front of the people. The Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, so that they may know that I will be with you as I was with Moses. You are the one who shall command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant. When you come to the edge of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. Joshua then said to the Israelites, Draw near and hear the words of the Lord your God. Joshua said, By this you shall know that among you is the living God, who without, who without fail will drive out from before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hevites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is going to pass before you into the Jordan. So now select twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. When the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, rest in the waters of the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan flowing from above shall be cut off. They shall stand in a single heap. When the people set out from their tents to cross over the Jordan, the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant were in front of the people. Now the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout the time of harvest. So when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped in the edge of the water, the waters flowing from above stood still, rising up in a single heap, far off at Adam the city that is beside Zarathan, while those flowing towards the Sea of the Arabah, the Dead Sea, were wholly cut off. Then the people crossed over, the oppos over opposite Jericho. While all Israel were crossing over on dry ground, the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over the Jordan. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly pardon. 
for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly pardon. On the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met him. Just then a man from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly a spirit seizes him, and all at once he shrieks. It throws him into convulsions until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and will scarcely leave him. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, you faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. While everyone was amazed at all that he was doing, he said to his disciples, let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was concealed from them so that they could not perceive it, and they were afraid to ask him about this saying. An argument arose among them as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side and said to them, Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among all of you is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you, you hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. You show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Let us pray. We pray for the day and its tasks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church and her life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the social services. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who work in the criminal justice system. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the victims and perpetrators of crime. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the work of aid agencies throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those living in poverty or under oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by, the, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.